You have a visitor, Chandler. Uh, it's about time Barry sends somebody here to get me. What's the what are you doing here? I'm here to bail you out, Pops. Whoa! Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Morning, Hanson. Mama's brought you something sweet. I don't need you to rescue me. <laughs> Looks like I'm the only one who even bothered to show up. Go back to your husband while well, you have one. I'm here. I might as well be useful. But, um, first I was hoping that maybe we could talk. Oh, yeah, I should have known. Kind of a double mutual back scratch, is that it? You bail me out, and I don't expose you as the, the uh, two-timing, money-grabbing chippy you really are. And you can hate me all you want, I don't care. I'm bailing you out for JR. You think you'll be grateful? I'm not so sure. JR plays tough, but all this fighting, it really does eat him up inside. Yeah. He hides it very well. You just don't know where to look. Do you know why JR was so excited to get back here after we got married? Yeah, because he uh, couldn't wait to turn the tables on the old man. He got me good, didn't he? Because he loves you. Even when you're all riled to split us up, JR just won't leave. That's because he uh, loves rubbing my face in this mistake you call a marriage. Look, all I'm asking Oh, is... here it comes, here it comes. I just want you to lay off JR. Stop fighting him and stop laying into me. At least when JR is around. So what you're proposing is a detente of sorts. <laughs> Whatever the heck that is. I just want you to give it a rest, just for a week. At least through the holidays. You think you could do that? For JR? A week of peace, Pops, that's all I'm asking. Jared deserves this much. I'll go bail you out. What are you doing here? Where's, where, where, where's Babe? First things first, honey. Oh, wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well, what's all this? It's what I promised. Something sweet. And I always keep my promises. French toast. Mm. My specialty. Well, really, it's the only thing I can cook. <laughs> well, you, you carry women. You keep surprising me. Oh, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> this is Babe's favorite, too, but she didn't wait around for the first batch. Did she say where she was going? Well, I didn't ask, but it must be important for her to pass up on this. Go ahead, eat, eat. It's gonna get cold. All right, well, it works for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> yeah, well, the secret's in the eggs. Just gotta beat them silly, you know? Tell them who's boss. Yeah. Kind of like what you're doing with your dad. Well, he's not exactly toast yet. Yeah. Well, what I mean is, Adam wants the world to spin his way. And you're not afraid to show him that it can spin another way. Especially when it comes to the woman you love. Well, the thing about my dad is he thinks he's right about everything. He's decided that Babe's not good enough for me, but I'm gonna prove, I'm gonna prove to him that how wrong he really is. You don't know what that means to me. You taking care of my baby doll. I can see how she's just head over sneakers in love with you, and I tell you what, <laughs> once this mess gets all cleared up, you two are just gonna live a dream come true kind of life. Oh, God. Yeah. Ooh, I'm a big mush pot. <laughs> yeah. you're, just, you're just like babe. But don't worry, Crystal. I'm the best care ever of your daughter and your grandchild. Oh. I assume you want the door closed. I apologize for interrupting. I was just passing by. Of course you were. Well, I heard I just assumed that it, you and Babe would want some privacy. 
Then what are you doing here? Hi, I, I'm, I'm Babe's Mama Crystal. Yes, I noticed the resemblance. <sighs> you know what? Thank you for breakfast, Crystal. I'm just gonna go hit the shower. Anytime, honey. Breakfast in bed, how thoughtful. I didn't catch your name. Mary. Mary Smythe. Smythe. Mm. Yeah, kind of like how all those rich Beverly Hills folks say Rodeo Drive instead of Rodeo. You know, Smythe instead of Smith. Uh-huh. That robe of yours certainly has its own je ne sais quoi. Oh, yeah, I kind of like it, too. Especially because I got it half off. I'm sure your clothes are half off most of the time. <laughs> 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 Must be liberating to feel so comfortable and so little. Yeah, I like to keep it simple. But you certainly have a knack for piling it on. That necklace, ma'am, that is some serious bling bling. You shop the uh, TV shows? This is an original piece. Uh, <laughs> well, you're just like a Christmas tree, all lit up and loaded. One more piece of tinsel and you just fall right over. No, I managed to stay standing. Okay, wait a second. You're that Mary Smythe. Yeah. Yeah, Babe mentioned you. Adam took you in, right? Boy, sure must beat the shelter, huh? I'm an artist. Adam's a patron. He's graciously offered to let me use his old greenhouse as my studio. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a... I'm something of an artist myself. I'm sort of partial to those paint-by-number kits, you know? Gives a girl something to do when, uh, she's got too much time on her hands. Good choice. Good choice. Better to keep busy with the clay than the boys, right? Now, that young French man, was he the one that taught you all those fancy French words? Given your daughter's track record with the boys in this family, you're not one to judge. Oh, and then to have your own daughter reject you, too. I am, I am so sorry. We'll get through it. We always do. Yeah, well, it must be pretty hard. Boy, I just can't picture my life without my baby girl. You know, her happiness is... Is all I care about, but you know what I mean. Yes, I do. Good. Then you'll understand me when I ask you to stay away from my son in law. Oh, what a nice thing to do helping around the house to earn your keep. It won't work, you know, trying to ingratiate yourself with JR. He's my son-in-law. But he's a lot more than that. Your daughter has landed herself in a big pile of money, and you have to make sure she stays there. Oh, babe doesn't need my help. She and JR love each other, and they're gonna work it out. Kinda hard to do when your daughter can't figure out whose bed she's happier in. Babe's happy with JR. Whether that bed is feathers or lumps. Well, that's all very romantic, but with all this back and forth over who, her baby's father is. Surely you can understand Adam's anxiety about Babe's suitability. Oh, well. If Adam would just let J.R. and Babe be, maybe they'd have a chance. Adam loves J.R. just as much as you love Babe. And he only wants to end this marriage because he has his son's best interest at heart, as do I. Now, isn't, uh, isn't J.R. just a little bit too old? Wait, Fred! Wait, up, Fred! You gave the staff the day off. Where have you been? Not now, Mary. Not now. Oh, that's why you snuck out so early. You sprang Adam from the slammer. You were in jail? Maybe it did him some good. Why'd you have to bail him out? I did it for you, baby. Did you see me missing any sleep last night? I know that you're pops, but you don't hate him any more than he hates you. Oh, come on. Can't we all just get along for once? Like a real family? I am just so proud of you. You are nothing but <laughs> sweet, little girl. Adam. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you were in jail? I could have gotten you out. I tried. You were unavailable. Spare me the details, please. What? 
What happened? What are the charges? Maybe I can help you fight them. I don't need or want your help, Mary. Oh, yes, you do. Now more than ever. You've met Our Lady of the Strip Mall? Yes, Crystal introduced herself to me. And don't worry, I know exactly how to handle her. So. The way you handle Jamie? No, stay out of it, Mary. I can handle Crystal and Babe. All right, but I'm only a call away. Or closer. Okay. Bye bye, Mary. Did you spend the night trying to escape? Or plotting your next move against my wife? No, I, uh. Actually, I spent the night looking forward to the new year. It's going to be a happy one, JR. For both of us. That, my son, is my promise.